Hello lovely friends, thank you so much for joining me for another studio vlog. This one is for June, I'm actually recording this intro at the very 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 end of May. So today the 28th of May we're going into the city, we're taking Anita's dad to the Space Centre. I've never been before but it's in the city, um, I'll take you with me. And then tomorrow we're hanging my solo exhibition at the Hotel Metropolitan in the city as well. So I'll take you with me for all of that. Um, I'm not quite sure what else I'm doing for June. Pretty sure it's going to be busy because I always seem to be busy. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the video. It's Saturday the 4th of June. I am gallery sitting all day today and I've just got in, just turned the lights on, just about to put the sign outside. I'm going to show you the new exhibition that's on at the moment. It's a really, really good exhibition. Sonia Unwin is downstairs and there's a group exhibition up here that you can see behind me. So I will show you around. <music>
also going to show you in my studio. As you can see, I've got some scarves in here. So let me just uh, move around so you can see. So yeah, um, I brought some scarves into the studio today because my room is looking very bare, as you can see. <laughs> so I brought just a few of the double ups that I've got of the scarves. And I've also brought a couple of plant holders and some scrunchies. And so if anyone wants to buy them, what I've done is I've got a little QR code that literally takes you to the website so that you can make a purchase. So yeah, then my room doesn't look as bare as it did before. So when my artwork comes back from the exhibition, <laughs> then I can put it back up there. But for the moment, that's what it's looking like. And here's my new rug. Check it out. It's already got a bit of red paint on it. Um, I'm not sure if I brought that in or someone else did, but um, yeah, let me stand back and show you. Yeah, very happy with it. And uh, this tapestry here, in case you're wondering, is being wrapped up because it's been sold. So really should make some more of these. They're really good fun to make. But today I'm working on my Monstera leaf and I might do some more work on this tapestry because I haven't worked on it for a little while, so see how we go. morning it is Saturday the 11th of June and I will be going to the gallery very shortly but before I do so I need to pack up a couple of scarves that I've got customers coming into the gallery to collect so let me show you what I've made during the week okay so it's actually repeat customers so they bought a couple of cravats the other week and they've asked me to make this snakeskin pattern into a couple of cravats as well and they just came up so well. So I can't wait for them to collect them. I hope they absolutely love them. Next week I visited the exhibition Making the New Normal by Zoe Freeney, who used to be a studio artist at Collective Haunt. This is her PhD show at the Adelaide Central School of Art.
Good morning. It is Sunday. Uh, what's the date today? 18th of June. No, 19th of June. 19th of June. And we are on our way to Murray Bridge. We are going to visit the Murray Bridge Bunyip. This is for my next tapestry. You can see Tessa in the back. Anita does not want to be in this video. And we're on our way now. You can come with us. very underwhelming just walking up to it <laughs> let's see home. <laughs> looks like we press a button <laughs> Okay, so this is the cartoon <laughs> for the Murray Bridge Bunyip tapestry. Uh, as you can see, my cartoons are pretty rough. I've basically just blown up three of the views of the Bunyip uh, video that I took uh, that you saw earlier. I put in a tiny bit of colour. You might not be able to see that there. Um, just a little bit of colour on each one. And then in the background, I've got that arch, which is the the background of the actual um, bunyip itself. So it's, um, it's a pretty basic cartoon, but that's the way I normally do them. <laughs> Studio dog today. New studio dog today, Bella. Yeah, gorgeous.
next on my to-do list was to actually finish the Big Lobster tapestry. Now finishing the tapestry includes trimming the back of all the ends and sewing in the ones on the edges and turning over that hem. So that whole process took me about four hours. It takes a pretty long time but totally worth it to make the tapestry look really neat and professional. So I think I'll leave this studio vlog there. We're just going to McLaren Vale to drop off more scarves. And then when we get back, I'm gonna walk up that big loom behind me, but you will see that in the next studio vlog. So until the next video, bye.